Hello, everybody, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we are going to be breaking down Taylor Swift's music video for Fortnite, discussing all the Easter eggs, hidden messages, what we think certain things mean, because we know when it comes to a Taylor Swift music video, very little is unintentional. She carefully places almost every single part of her music video. Everything has a purpose. Everything has a meaning. Some things even mean something that will come to fruition months, years ahead. There's probably a bunch of things I will miss, you will miss, that will then realize was an Easter egg months or years down the road. This is, this is what Taylor Swift does best because you know why? She's a mastermind. So we're going to get into all that. We're going to discuss all of that. We're going to break it all down. As of the time of filming this, we are, I don't know, a little bit over 24 hours since we've gotten the new album. I don't know how you guys feel, but I am still processing this album. I'm still working through it. I am still analyzing and decoding and trying to just like immerse myself in the album. It's been on repeat forever. So if you're the same way, if you're still trying to figure out the album, figure out what, how you feel about certain songs or all that stuff, we're going to get into pretty much everything Torture Poets Department next week, breaking down, I mean, genuinely everything, the anthology songs, ranking the album, diving into more lyrics, more songs, all that good stuff. So if you want to stay up to date on all of that, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you do not miss a single video because there's going to be a lot coming your way very, very soon. Okay, let's dive in now to the Fortnite breakdown. So when the music video went live on Friday night, Taylor shared an Instagram post, sort of, you know, putting it out into, into the world. And I, I always feel like it's interesting when Taylor, how Taylor talks about her music videos, because I do think you can kind of gain some things from it. You can kind of like, you can kind of, it, it paints a picture. I would say. So this is what she said, or part of what she said on Instagram about the Fortnite music video. When I was writing the Fortnite music video, I wanted to show you the worlds I saw in my head that served as the backdrop for making this music. Pretty much everything in it is a metaphor or a reference to one corner of the album or another. For me, this video turned out to be the perfect visual representation of this record and the stories I tell in it. So I, I saw this post before I watched the video and I, I felt like that was interesting because she's what she's saying there is this is not just a music video that tells the story of the song Fortnite. This is a music video that tells the story of the album as a whole. So I feel like that helped me getting into the music video in terms of like looking for Easter eggs and figuring out what certain things might mean because this is telling a comprehensive story rather than just one small story, if that makes sense. Okay, let's get into some of the Easter eggs, some of the specifics that we have in the actual album. So the first thing, or one of the first things, is the typewriter that we see, right? And she is, she's typing words over and over and, and, and over again. And she says, I love you. It's ruining my life. And again, she's, it's like re repeatedly being typed. Now, obviously this is a lyric in the song, <laughs> but this also may be reference to the Shining, the 1980s film, because Jack Nicholson's character, Jack, in the film, if you guys remember this, obsessively writes on the typewriter, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And he repeats that line over and over and over again, because the character is like slowly going insane. So I wonder if this is a little bit of a nod to that. And Taylor sort of saying like, you're making me go crazy. Like you've, you've, you've led me to insanity. And I think we kind of see that over the course of the video as she's being hooked up to wires and is seemingly in an insane asylum, I think we can maybe assume. So kind of a fun little Easter egg there. Um, I also noticed, I don't know if anybody else noticed this, when they showed the shot of the actual typewriter itself, where it has all the numbers, the number one is missing, which I think is in reference to her song, The One. Like you could have been the one, and now it is no longer there. And she also has a button that says blank space, blank space button, which is just a fun little nod to her, her previous work. Um, I also really liked the forget him pills that are brought to her that she puts on her tongue, which I think is, I just think that's like a funny thing. 
it kind of reminded me of like Alice in Wonderland or even like Willy Wonka in some ways. I don't know if that even makes any sense, but I, I kind of liked that. And obviously I think the song Fortnite, to me, it seems like about using somebody to get over somebody else. And so I think in a way she's saying like, in order to forget this other person, I tried to sort of like get into a different person, but didn't end up working. A lot of people have pointed out that it appears like she's wearing a wedding gown in the music video, which we know there's lots of references to weddings, marriage, children, almost weddings. It's also very similar to the dress that she wore. It actually might be the same dress that she wore to the Grammys, um, which again, it's just a white dress. So it could be a wedding dress. Maybe it's not a wedding dress, but another interesting thing, we I don't want to assume that Taylor wanted to get married to Joe, but it seems like from her writing, she wanted to get married and he didn't. So that could definitely be something. The Clara Bow makeup that she has on, the thin eyebrows, the lips, all that stuff, definitely a direct nod to Clara Bow, which is obviously one of the song titles, um, which I thought was, I thought was fun. And I actually really liked that makeup on her. I know that was, that's sort of strange to say, but I thought it looked I thought it looked good on her. And then a lot of people also have pointed out that the costuming in the video is very similar to Emma Stone's costuming in Poor Things, which we know Taylor and Emma, very, very good friends, very close. I think Taylor was even seen going to the premiere of the film like a few months ago. Um, there was just a lot of parallels there between, between those two, those two. And then uh, I feel like the biggest... Easter egg, so to speak, was that we had two actors from the Dead Poets Society, Mr. Ethan Hawke and Josh Charles, were in the music video as like the mad scientists who were doing all their weird little operations on on Taylor, which is obviously a tribute to their characters in the Dead Poets Society, which is also funny because I feel like for a lot of us, when the album title first came out, when she first announced it, I think a lot of people accidentally called the album the Tortured Poets Society rather than the to Tortured Poets Department. Um, and so obviously I just, I thought that was a fun little Easter egg. And Taylor Swift, she's so good about getting like these massive stars in her music video. Like she, she can get truly whoever she wants to be in her music video. I wouldn't be surprised I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we got like an Emma Stone, Taylor Swift music video, or we got some other massive, massive star to be in the video. And I think a lot of people do it because they're fans of hers, but also if they have kids who are Taylor Swift fans, they like to do it because they know their kids really love Taylor Swift. Like, could we get maybe Gwyneth Paltrow in a music video or... Bradley Cooper. We we know that Bradley Cooper's daughter dressed up as Taylor Swift for Halloween last year. I think I think the sky's the limit for who Taylor Swift could have it in her music video. So I want to see some other big stars. And then just an, another thing that I noticed in one of the scenes with Taylor and Post Malone, there's a black dog in the video. Again, another reference to her song, The Black Dog. But overall, I really liked the aesthetic of the video. I thought it was really beautifully shot. I thought it looked really cool. It was very unique. It was, it's very different than any other Taylor Swift video I think we've ever gotten. So I very much liked, I liked how different it was. I liked how unique it felt. Um, and I'm excited to see, I, I do hope she puts out other music videos because I just, I feel like it definitely helped. I mean, this sounds obvious, but it helps to just like visualize the story, the aesthetic. Um, so let me know in the comments if you have like what songs you would like to see her do a music video for in, you know, down, down the road, maybe in a month or a couple months time. And I'm curious also if there will be another single from the album. And if so, what that song will be. Time will only tell. So that is my breakdown of the Fortnite music video. I would love to know. I'm sure that I've missed Easter eggs. I'm sure I've missed certain things, certain little nuggets of information. So if you found anything um, that you think is a Easter egg or something, please share them in the comment section. I want to see what you guys think of the video. And if I've missed anything major, please share your thoughts on the video itself, on the album, all things Taylor Swift. Again, this is just a very exciting time to be a Taylor Swift fan. I'm obsessed. I hope you are as well. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.